peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Give me a one, one. Give me a two, two. Give me a three. How to move the science of radical action. I've seen along my journey that you can only think for so long. You can only plan for so long until you have to get your little fingers dirty and immerse yourself in the moment. I've seen that when I'm waiting too long, it's a sign that I still have to leave my comfort zone. And the secret I have found is that it's all about that perfect balance of doing and being. And there is no greater feeling than just moving in the direction of your true passion without fear. What's helped me along my journey is to first of all see that what is it that we need? What do we want? Because radical action can only happen once you have a hundred percent focus on what it is you need. I've seen that there are days where I'm heading to the park and guess what? I take a bag, I take five books, I take some food, I take anything I can find in my room. And then I realize I get to the park and I don't even go inside that bag. So extra baggage. That is what prevents so many of us from stepping into radical action. I've seen along my journey, it's all about traveling light and taking small steps every single day to do that thing we love. Even if you just pay attention just for five minutes, that's enough to build it. Also, I have seen that we're afraid of making mistakes. That's what keeps us back. That's what stops us in our tracks. And I've seen that the more you create, the more mistakes will be made, but there are only <laughs> two ways to live. As if everything can be achieved or as if nothing can be achieved. I choose the first one. Because for me, I don't see limitation, except the limitation I have within my mind. So I move into radical action by changing my attitude towards everything. But more so if we work on our internal condition. Because no matter what you do, the more and the greater your challenge is, the more fear arises. So I see that I have to work on balancing myself out. Some people, they are afraid of leaving their job. Maybe you wanna start a new diet. Maybe your mission is to share your vision with the world, but there is a big doubt gaping in your mind. And I've seen that the more you can realize that it's not going to go away by just thinking about it. I say you have to just jump. Just do it. <laughs> but the whole lifestyle is so essential too. I've seen that I am most productive first thing in the day because waking up with the sun brings us into alignment with the sun. That's when we're bursting full of energy, but also eating more plant-based foods have helped me step into radical action. Not judging myself so much has helped me step into radical action. And once we can lose the fear of what people think, that is what moves us into radical action. A lot of us, we're not speaking from our heart space because we feel that if people saw who we really were, they may not want to be around us. But guess what? Those are not your friends in the first place. I love for people to see who I am authentically because now I can see who I'm dealing with. I say, 
for radical action, you have to enjoy what you're doing 100% with a smile on your face. That's the only reason I can continue doing what I'm doing is because it's fun. I feel free doing it. I feel as if this is my true calling. Many of us, we're not happy what we're doing. Therefore, we don't want to act. Our whole body doesn't want to act. Our whole body is running away. I have seen many of us, we want to be perfect all the time. And perfection for me slows you down. That is part of the baggage. I have seen that if you can move past perfection and realize that it's just the acting that counts, your whole productivity increases. But just seeing that right now on the planet, for me, it's all about being a content creator, being a producer instead of just a consumer. So I love hearing from other people and listening and watching other people. But at the same time, I have to see that where is my energy going? Am I just consuming the whole time or am I putting something out there? Am I telling my vision? And the only way to do that is to start small. That's the only way, but build it. You're building it, you're building it. You're having fun with yourself. And I have the whole concept of the trophy. Many of us, we are holding the trophy alone. But what I've found is that in moving into radical action, you have to work with other people. You have to work with creative minds, people who share a similar vision to yourself because now you can all hold the trophy together. Honor your worthiness. That's the biggest thing because once you place value on what you have to contribute, that's where the real magic takes place. A lot of us, we're stiff, we can't move because we feel we have nothing to offer. Some people say, well, you know, it's already been done before. I say, but it hasn't been done in the way you have to bring it to the table. Your energy is uniqueness, it's pure brilliance on a whole nother level. That's the secret I've tapped into. Every day, I love waking up soon as the sun rises because now I am in alignment with the sun. And doing yoga has helped me. Whatever you do, just as long as you are moving those little fingers, that's a good sign. Radical action is there. I love stepping into radical action by changing the words I am using. I can, I will. We have to see that the body is the subconscious mind. So all our habits are stored here. So therefore, the reason why a lot of us can't act how we would love to is because we have formed this pattern which isn't serving us. I saw it along my journey and yoga has helped me so much. Moving more into my body, getting that sensitivity. Once you begin to feel your body more and more, your body begins to work for you. Many of us, we have become disconnected from our bodies. Hmm, how did that happen? But we are not present to our bodies. Once I started just to, and that's how it works together. With mindfulness meditation, you now become present with your body. Now you can start to move with more energy. It does wonders and any kind of form of exercise I feel is fantastic. But I say there is no perfect way to act. All of us know what we have to do and no one should tell us what to do. 
for me, that's the greatest way to step into radical action. Just to say that I know what is best for me. And that's why some, some people just go into nature and just lie down. And that is their radical action because they see that's what they came here to do. We have to be careful not to be living someone else's life because I say you have conscious action and unconscious action. And a lot of us, we're in radical action every single day, but we're not aware. Once we have that awareness of what we are doing, now we step into radical action. I am so aware when I am dwelling on a lot of negativity in my life. I immediately click and hit myself over the head. What I do is say, hold on, because the more you dwell on a lot of negative energy, now this is a block within you. So. I always create a positive space within myself and a negative space because it's all about the unity of energies. But a lot of negativity is only created because we are thinking too much in one area. And the only way to stop doing that is by making sure we are not focusing on ourselves so much and also going for a walk into nature, enjoying the simplicity of life and what we came here to do. That's it in a nutshell. So if you say to yourself, wait a minute, wait a minute, I have something to share which I feel is valuable. It's all subjective. Then you can start moving. And the more you can express yourself, the more your confidence builds up, your trust builds up, but you step into this rhythm. And that's how I've seen the science of radical action. If not now, when? We're in nature, shaking those fingers, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace.